What's up guys, following on from our last video where I discussed the best start for flywheel blasters, today I'll be showing you what I think is the best start for all you nerf snipers. Whether you're a high powered springer player through to LPA or HPA, this video will show you how to glue your own darts and then test them for velocity, range and accuracy. Let's get started. When we discuss sniper darts, there's currently only three really good factory made choices out there. We have the often poorly glued but popular worker darts. We have the discontinued, popular in Singapore for those who still have them, Pack D darts. And ACC darts, which come in a few other different versions such as what people call sweet oranges. In my last video, I mentioned that I like to glue my own darts using the offcuts from my Adventure Force halflings. That's exactly what I'll be doing today. Why? Well, these machine glued darts, such as worker, often have incredibly poor glue. Just look at the difference here. For an equal comparison of all three types of dart tip design, I will therefore be gluing all three onto Adventure Force foam. What I've found works best is the Remedy Metal gluing method. For this, you first take a Q-tip and you use it to apply some contact adhesive to the dart foam, both inside where the stem goes and around the top. The contact adhesive acts as a primer for the foam to both protect it and give something for the dart tip's glue to bond to. You'll need to leave the contact adhesive to dry for about 10 minutes before moving on to the next step. So I'd suggest doing multiple darts in small batches. For step two, you apply some super glue to the dart tip. And because it'll set very quickly, twist the dart tip in as you push it into the foam. Once it's all the way in, hold some pressure on it for about five seconds. Now you can stand the dart somewhere while it cures. After a further 10 minutes, take the glued darts and you can cut them to 36mm using a dart cutting fixture like this 3D printed one from NF Strike. Some quick advice, if you're planning on gluing some worker darts of your own, glue the tip flat against the foam. There's no reason to have that gap like they have at the factory if you're cutting the foam perfectly straight by hand. Having the gap also means there's less surface area for the glue to adhere to, leading to less durable, worse performing darts. Now that I have some of each assembled, let's run some tests. Before I run these over the chronograph, here's the weight of each dart tip. Pack D's weigh 0.96 grams, worker tips weigh 1.02 grams, and ACC tips only weigh 0.84 grams. My prediction is that worker being the heaviest will also be the slowest, while ACC being the lightest will mean they're the fastest. Let's find out.
it looks like the velocities do indeed follow the dart weights. ACC, being the lightest dart tip at 0.84 grams, had an average velocity of 294.6 feet per second. Pack D, with its medium dart tip weight of 0.96 grams, hit an average velocity of 283.8 feet per second. And bringing up the rear, Worker, with its heavier dart tip of 1.02 grams, scored an average of 271.6 feet per second. Personally, I don't think velocity tells the whole story, so let's head outside and move on to a range test. To do the range test, I'll be standing alongside this stoby pole and firing level to the ground because there's quite a strong crosswind and I don't want to lose my darts into a neighbour's yard. These shots will curve slightly left and land close to the sidewalk. I could get much greater ranges by angling the blaster at 45 degrees, but all I want to know is which dart travels the furthest compared to each other. So shooting flat is fine. Let's go and grab my laser rangefinder and shine it at the stoby pole to measure the ranges. Forty five meters. Now that ACC actually two ACCs forty nine meters pack D forty nine meters. Worker, another worker, fifty two meters, another worker, fifty four meters. And we're missing two pack D's here. Yeah. Pack D, 55 meters. And there's one more somewhere out here. Last pack D, at 42 meters. Of the three dart tip types, ACC tips flew the shortest distance. My guess is that has something to do with it being the lightest of the three. Pack D had one go further than the workers, but the other two worker tips outranged the Pack Ds. Workers were also the most consistent with their ranges, which in this wind I'd have to guess the added dart weight and perhaps the dart shape helped. Finally, let's run the test I consider most important, and that is the accuracy test. For this I'll be firing from a sitting position, firing at a garbage bin 100 feet away. I've got a Blaster Tech scar barrel attached, which helps improve the dart accuracy, and when I fire at the bin, I won't be counting the hits. Instead, the bin is just a target for me to aim my red dot sight at. What I'll actually be comparing is the spread of where the darts actually go. This way, I can avoid having my scope zero influence the results, because maybe one type of dart likes to go slightly left, one type of dart likes to go slightly right. I don't know, so let's test and see. First up, ACC darts.
ACC had a few darts miss the bin to the left, but if I bring the spread pattern slightly to the right to account for zeroing the scope, every shot hit the bin. ACC's had a lot of the darts grouped in the center, but unfortunately there's a low right shot and a high shot. Now let's try worker dart tips. That was ACC, now we've got worker. Only one of the worker darts missed the bin, but after adjusting the scope zero, every shot hits the bin. Compared to ACC, the worker dart tips scored a tighter grouping. Finally, let's shoot some pack Ds. And now pack D. Compared to Worker, Pack D had a wider spread over the horizontal axis, and Worker has more shots grouped tightly in the centre. Because in Nerf games we're firing at human targets who are usually taller than they are wide, the groupings of Worker would have a greater chance of hitting someone. In summary, Worker seemed to be the best for accuracy, and while quite different spreads, I'd have to say Pack D and ACC are about equal in second place. Now, to summarise the overall results, firstly, the difference in weight of the darts seemed to have an impact on their velocities. Worker with their 1.02 gram dart tips travelled the slowest compared to the 0.96 gram pack D, and the fastest dart tip were the ACCs weighing in at 0.84 grams. Speed isn't everything though, because Worker consistently travelled the longest range, with ACC shooting the shortest distance. For accuracy, Worker came out ahead with Pack D and ACC fairly close in second. All three dart types performed excellently though, so if you currently use ACC or Pack D, you shouldn't feel pressured to go and buy Worker darts. Fired out of a scar or rifled barrel, all three of these dart types were putting shots on target. If you're looking for the best performer, the heavier, slower travelling Worker dart is my pick. I suggest gluing them yourself though like I did in this video, glued flat against the foam with no gap. My results though only speak for the dart tips themselves, glued onto quality foam using one of the best gluing methods. Pre-assembled machine glued ammo can vary greatly in quality, which is why I'd recommend gluing yourself for the best performance. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of it by leaving a like or a dislike or perhaps even a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching. See ya.